Welcome to Destination 101, the podcast of Toastmasters District 101. In this alternate short format, instead of a road trip along our namesake of Highway 101 in California, think of this as a short pit stop or a vista point. I'm your host, Birgit Starmans. Welcome to Destination 101, another pit stop edition. On a recent road trip, I heard the song, Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash. And it got me thinking about a very common Toastmasters evaluation that I always hear, specifically on Zoom. You should stand up for your presentation. And that got me thinking about, should I sit or should I stand? Let me tell you about a personal experience I had with this type of feedback. I very often talk about ballroom dancing in my speeches, and I was talking about a concept and just using a couple of gestures as I was sitting. The feedback that I received from my club was, you should really stand up when you talk about dance. Well, I took that as a challenge, and the next time I decided, okay, I'm going to have a dance-themed speech, and I'm going to stand up. Now, here's the thing. I don't have very much space behind my desk to stand up. As a matter of fact, I have no space behind my desk to stand up. There's enough room for the chair, and that's it. That means that in order to stand up, I set up a ring light and put my iPad on the ring light. That worked pretty well. I could move around. You could see all my gestures. You could see my feet. And the feedback that I received? I can't really see your face. Well, yeah, I'm standing up and I'm further away from the camera. This really got me thinking about when is it appropriate to stand and when is it appropriate to sit? And I'll give you my standard consulting answer. It depends. It depends on the purpose of your speech. It depends on the type of audience you have. It depends on the space that you have available. It depends on where you can put your equipment, be it a laptop, be it an iPad. It depends on how much of your body you need to show, only up to the waist or your entire body, or maybe just enough to capture your hand gestures. I suppose you've figured out by now that there is no one answer as to whether you should sit or whether you should stand. Let's look at a couple of situations and what is most common. Now, in person, doing a presentation usually means you're standing up on a stage, in front of a room, behind a lectern, on a podium, unless, of course, you're participating on a panel, in which case it's very typical to have the panelist sitting on chairs with the moderator either standing or sitting on a chair. And sometimes there are couches. Think late night TV, right? Now, in meetings where there's a lot of collaboration, Nobody stands to speak. Everyone pretty much gathers around the conference table and everyone sits down while they're giving even mini presentations because it furthers discussion and collaboration. That being said, Toastmasters in person pretty much always stand, all the time, no matter what. Now, in a virtual environment, there are many different approaches. For example, if you are doing a keynote, it's very likely that you might be in a broadcast studio where, of course, you're going to be standing and moving around as if you were on stage live in front of an audience. Now, if you're doing a keynote or any other kind of business presentation, it is much more common to be seated because it mimics the way that business people are sitting around a conference room. So even if it's a keynote, being able to be closer to the person's face and read their facial expressions is much more common in a business environment for any type of virtual presentation. This, of course, brings us back to what do we do in Toastmasters? And I would have to say, let's take it back to the purpose of the speech. In my previous example, I wanted to demonstrate an entire dance step, so it was necessary to see my entire body. One option I can explore next time is that Between dance steps, I can walk closer to the camera so that my face is easier to see. But if I'm just conceptually talking about dance, then in my view, it's not necessary to be standing up the entire time. If you are doing demonstrations, especially hands-on demonstrations of something that's computer-related, you will definitely want to be seated so that you can reach your keyboard or your mouse and demonstrate appropriately. In other words, don't stand just for the sake of standing up. And don't sit just because you're too lazy to stand up, but then you'll need to find another way to really channel that energy into your speech. And with that, I'll speak with you next time. And during the podcast, I am actually seated. See ya. Tune in next time and comment or email us at destination101.podcast at gmail.com. 
and review prior episodes at www.d101tm.org slash destination 101. Chat with you soon.